So what are producers looking for? Well, they want an expert with some credentials. Now that could be through a degree, a certification, a strong blog, or a strong web presence. That's why I urge you to get any kind of footage you have of yourself out there because that's the first place a producer will go. They'll go to the internet and see you in action and they'll go, if that show wanted them and that show wanted them, I want them. And then that also gives them the opportunity to see you on camera, to see you engaging with the host, to see how much of an expert you really are. So whatever you do, get that footage out there. Another thing that's very important is to have a good website. And that should have your photo, a current photo, no one likes surprises, a resume, reviews, any books or collateral material you may have, get it out there, get it on that website. Uh, in addition, it's very good to have a home studio. So much of the news today is late breaking, last minute, and they want you right away. And there could be a snowstorm that would prevent you from getting to the studio. So if you have a home studio you can offer to a producer, wow, they'll love that. Because within two minutes, you can be delivering the message. And that makes them look good. Now let's talk about your message. You don't want to just have one little niched area. You want to be able to expand your message depending on the story. If you're an archaeologist, you don't want to just talk about Egyptian artifacts. You want to be able to also include the La Brea tar pits. Whatever it takes, you want to be able to be able to offer more. The other thing that's really important is to be a team player. You're not the star, the host is the star. You have to remember that. You need to be able to deliver your message on point and in a pleasant way. And if they throw you a curveball, be able to throw it back. But most of all, to be a pleasant person to work with and they will have you there time and time again.